What's up guys, Daily Kamel here, and not too long ago, Konami dropped some post KC Cup skill rebalancing. Uh, there's no card, so I don't I I don't count this as a full ban a, a full ban list. There's just some skills I think that they are just cleaning up because they noticed they did not like the way they were being used. So let's get in there and talk about them. Uh, it seems that they have buffed three skills. Uh, it looks like they are. We're strengthening some character exclusive skills to make them easier. And one card wonder is being adjusted because it is not being used as intended. So let's start off with the ones that are being buffed. You're getting on my nerves first. This card, this skill now states can be used during your next turn after your monster is destroyed by battle or card effect. Increase the attack of one water exes monster by 500 until end of the turn. Can also be used if your opponent controls a monster with 2500 or more attack. All right, so how is this different from the original one? Firstly, the original one requires a level four or lower monster to be destroyed, I believe, don't quote me. Uh, the attack increase is still the same, but also added is that you can now also just activate if your opponent controls a monster with 2,500 or more. So there is another activation clause. Again, it is just plus 500. Uh, if you were to play the skill, you would be playing it because now you can activate it more often. But it is plus 500 twice per duel. And I don't know, the ability to Xyz summon via Territory of the Sharks is just way better than this, unfortunately. Next we have Magician Girls. The attack of Magician Girl monsters you control is increased by 300 for each Magician Girl monster you control. This was previously only increased by 100 for each Magician Girl that you control. So they butt up to 300 per. So Magician Girl is already a, a played rogue deck in tournaments, so it may... Uh, this may help them out. So extra pain. This is a scud skill. When you deal battle damage to your opponent, deal an additional 100 damage. This skill will not activate if your opponent has 1,000 life points or less. So this is a scud skill. Previously, it was when you do battle damage to your opponent, deal an additional 50 damage. So Konami did a little reversal. Usually they have the effect damage this time. They buffed it up a little bit, but guys, come on. It's an extra 100 every time you deal battle damage. You're only going to be dealing battle damage a couple times anyway. All right. And now our final skill. This one is getting nerfed. One card wonder. Your starting hand will only will contain only one card. Your normal draws and the draw phase become two cards. This skill can only be used if you begin the duel with a deck that contains no other cards other than the following cards, excluding extra deck. Infernity cards, cards that include infernity in their card text. Whoa. So this skill is now definitely only going to be used as intended. If you guys don't know, one card wonder is a Kalan skill. In which it does just like you said you start with one card and you draw two every turn this has been abused for a very long time to promote stall strategies in which you start out with you fill up your deck with traps and hand traps that let you survive a turn and then you just draw into one hand trap or one trap that lets you survive no matter what and then every turn you draw two so you're you're able to just put up and unlimited wall of resources to stall your opponent and do whatever strategy that you want so i'm very glad that they are getting rid of this because uh this is a degenerate strategy see you later one card wonder so now you're only going to be able to play this skill if you are playing full infernities each and every card in your main deck has to have infernity in the card text that is a surefire way to make sure this skill gets used as intended However, I'm not sure if this would be the best, if this would even be good for Infernities at all. Because when you think about it, if this was good enough, they would already be playing it. It didn't get anything extra. Um, you know, starting off with one card in Infernities is not very helpful either. You definitely need to see 
multiple cards, and then you always have to think, if you're playing this skill, you have to think about what you're going to lose from the deck with the current skill you're using. In this case, you're not going to be able to send two at the end of your second turn for Infernity Inferno, so you're definitely going to have to count on the cards you draw to be insane uh, with your two draws each and every turn. So overall, that's it. That's all they did. Um, and uh, yeah, I do not think that they were aiming to like really redefine anything here. This was just really quick. However, uh, this may disturb some people because a lot of people are hoping that, you know, Harpy's going to tap, Resonator's going to tap. I don't know, man. A couple days after the Casey Cup and they release a couple skills, getting a nudge here, getting a buff here. I don't know. That does not bode well with me. If you take a look here at the record of skill changes, there is constantly changes between May and July. And this is a June skill change. So very, uh, very peculiar, if I do say so myself. It's definitely out of schedule. But I'm just gonna have, we're just gonna have to hope that it does not affect uh, the later ban list. I just want to check really quickly when the last ban list was to make sure we're on track. Now looking here, they're breaking their their uh, pattern third week of July is usually when they do the ban list around there. Hopefully we get a ban list to accompany these skill changes because these are not going to be enough to satiate uh, what people really want fixed in the game right now uh, let's just check back to see if they refresh with a ban list and no all right guys that's gonna be it from me tonight peace out let me know what you think about the skills i don't know man magician girl that skill might actually be played in the magician girl deck if it's good enough we'll see peace out guys talk to you later